Good morning. If you've been following the devotions this week, you know that we've been talking about things that have a beginning and things that have an end. Uh, unfortunately, we don't like to talk too much about the topic that I'm going to talk about today. I'm going to talk about our beginning and our end. The Bible tells us in Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verses 1 and 2, it says, To everything there is a season, and a time to every purpose under the heaven, a time to be born, and a time to die, a time to plant, and a time to pluck up that which is planted. Those scriptures are probably very little read, but you probably recognize them with the sounds of turn, 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 and behind them. Uh, the scriptures in Ecclesiastes there uh, remind us that Death is as inevitable as life. God gave us life, but that life is also supposed to come to an end. Uh, we talked about on other devotions prior about how Jesus, when he came into this world, he came to set us free, to give us life everlasting, to give us eternal life. We wouldn't want eternal life in this state. Uh, in this fallen, sin-filled, broken world, we would be eternally separated from God. But Jesus gave us life so that we could have life and have it more abundantly, to have a life that is eternal. So how do we know when uh, it is our time when we should quit fighting? In the Pentecostal faith, uh, and there's other denominations as well, uh, we believe in divine healing. We believe in the laying on of hands. We believe in seeing the sick uh, healed. We have seen it. We've seen it with our own eyes. The problem is, is we've not always seen it happen where it's worked. My dad died uh, at 50 years of age. It wasn't because of a lack of faith on my part and believing that he was going to be healed because I believed with all of my heart, my mind, and my soul. Yet at 50 years of age, after a long hard battle with a bad heart and kidney failure, my dad died. I was mad, mad at my dad, mad at God, mad at the doctor, mad at anybody that I could blame. Really, the fact of the matter was, is my dad used to say something that I've never forgotten. He said, I, oh, he said, I know that God could heal me, but even if he doesn't, I'll always know he could have. There was nothing wrong with my dad's faith, although I found that as a weak faith. Honestly, as I've come to understand it by working through hospice and sitting with so many people, I actually see my dad's faith was stronger than what I ever realized before. To be able to say, I trust God no matter what. Really, what my dad was telling us was, is God could heal me, but even if he doesn't, I'm going to trust him. I'll always know he could have, and the answer in this case is just going to be no, and I'm going to deal with it because I'm going to heaven. So is he really giving up? There's a big difference between giving up and just trusting God. Paul was delivered out of the hands of death many times, but in 2 Timothy chapter 4, verses 7 through 8, Paul says this, I've fought a good fight, and I've finished the course, and I've kept the faith. Henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give to me at that day, and not to me only, but to all of them who are loving his appearing. Hmm. What was different at this point? Paul given up? Paul done? Did Paul think God couldn't do it anymore? Quite the contrary. Paul knew that God could have delivered him. But the key word was there in verse 7 where he said, I fought a good fight. I finished my course. Paul didn't give up. He didn't quit. He didn't throw in the towel and say, well, they've got me this time and this time is it. No, he knew he was done. He was finished. He'd finished what he had been here for. And now it was time to go home and receive his reward. As Christians, we can know. I believe that we should know when our time is near. We should know when it is time to let go, to trust God in spite of everything. And now I will never forget the words of my dad when my dad said, I know God can heal me, but even if he doesn't, I'll always know he could have. It was sounds of great faith coming from a man who died at 50 years old, who in the eyes of many died way too young. In fact, I may never understand why on this side of heaven that I had to lose my own father at such a young age, with such a horrible sickness, who was a preacher. We aren't guaranteed any tomorrows. We are guaranteed, though, that there is an end to this life. And Jesus is coming back. 
<laughs> and to everything there is a season. And this season is coming to an end very soon for all of us someday. And I just want to make sure we're ready to let go and not give up. Don't give up without a fight, but know when it's time to let go and to let go of those that you love. Because so many times we are selfish and greedy and we want to hang on to people because we love them and we know that we're going to miss them and it's difficult for us. But sometimes we have to love them enough to let them go and tell them it's okay. We'll see you in heaven. No, it's not been a very happy message today, but good news is, is if we're all ready to go to be heaven, hey, this isn't our final resting place. While this may have a temporary end, it has an eternity that will last forever. But hey, that's a devotion for another day. God bless you and have a great day.